Hello everybody, this is Manu S and welcome to another Eternal News video. So, Direwolf decided to just randomly drop a new promo on us out of nowhere today. Just had a downtime a little bit ago, just finished, and we got this sweet new promo card. And I have to say, this looks like um, possibly the most powerful, most impactful promo card since um, Scouting Party, which used to be a promo card and now isn't anymore. So, um, yeah, this card is pretty amazing and I'm quite excited about it in a way and in another way I'm a bit concerned about it. So let's break it down. Card is a 7 cost 7-6. Seven, requires 2 time, so not super splashable, but um, also not hard on your influence at all because double time in a, a deck that has time as its main influence is like nothing you shouldn't basically automatically have by turn 7. Then um, Tasia has Warp, which is great, makes her a potential 2 for 1, but she also has another um, ability, which means if she's on your deck, on top of your deck, like especially early on when you can't Warp her, there's other ways of getting value. Basically, later when you have um, the power to play her, you can decide between the value from Warp or the value of um, the triggered ability when she's on top of your deck. Because when she's on top of your deck and you play another unit, the unit gets plus one, plus one. So basically say you have a Tasia on top, turn three, you play an assembly line and a Praxis token deck, suddenly those tokens are three two twos, which is incredibly powerful. And later you will play a Tasia to give all of them another plus one, plus one, making them three threes. Just uh, with one Tasia without any help of Obelisk or anything. The card is basically like um, as powerful as Obelisk is and gives decks now sort of an Obelisk 5 to 8 that works a bit different, has different up and down sides, but is equally powerful and makes these kinds of strategies much, much more consistent and rewarding. And I already look forward to rework my Praxis token deck with this card and give it a try because she honestly looks super impressive, super stunning. Um, and there might also be other uses for her past that, but that's like the most obvious one, the one that I can think of and uh, want to try first. Um, definitely a very powerful card. 7-6 seven, for 7, in addition to warp, is pretty decent stats too. And imagine having that on top of your deck early on and randomly getting buffs on your 2 or 3 drop play that already has good stats, like, I don't know, maybe in a deck with a Seraph, your Seraph suddenly is a 4-5 on turn 3 and stuff like that it can lead to some pretty um, powerful snowball effects, which is why I'm a bit concerned, because it's, it's a quite random effect and the high roll potential is pretty high, we just talked about this a bit in our team discord, Sarius brought it up, because I initially missed that it buffs the unit that you play, I kind of thought that you have the choice between basically playing your Tasia and buffing your team, or playing other units and buffing your Tasia that you can play without warp the turn after then and bigger, which would have made her much less powerful but still pretty good. But the fact that it immediately gives you board impact and buffs the units that you play the turn that Tasia is on top of your deck is incredible, especially if you can play multiple units. Or like imagine having this on board uh, on top of your deck, turn one and playing a grenade and drone, then you suddenly have like two two twos for one in play, which is absurd, turn one, and a huge head start and stuff like that. So um, there's some scary potential here, and I'm not sure how much I like the high variance impact of the card, but all in all, it's a really powerful card and an interesting constructed card for sure, but uh, seems a bit swingy and might lead to some frustratingly powerful scenarios on one side, but we'll see how it plays out. So oh, yeah, that's the new promo card. Um, stay tuned for uh, me trying the card out on stream. I will definitely jam four of her in my Praxis token deck as soon as I can, replacing the four Heart of the Vaults that I used to run in my video. This is a much better fit and also has warp. And just synergizes great with the deck while 
Heart of the Vault was just a power play that didn't really synergize very well with the rest of the deck, so that's amazing. Alright, um, that's it for a quick news update here from Eternal News with the new promo card. Enjoy the card, have fun with it, see what else we can do with it. Card might also be interesting with the last promo card, Colony Matron for example, buying some more Xenon based token thing for example. We'll see what we can, what else we can do with Tasia aside from the obvious. All right, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, and if you want to uh, stay up to date with more news and deck techs and stuff, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications for future videos. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on my stream or in the next video. I'm out. Bye.